Hi all. <laughs> Brian, thanks for organizing. Thanks for staying until the end, guys. I only have like 86 slides to get through, but we'll make it quick. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, like 10 or something. <laughs> yeah, who, who did, yeah, because he's a silhouette now. Thank you. Okay. So my name is Marlon Castillo, and I'm going to present to you on why I think most new Django projects should start with a custom user model. So just about me, there's my selfie glamour shot. Um, Django Python, mobile app developer, I'm currently bootstrapping medical technology company. We use a weird mix of uh, Java and PHP. Um, can we use Django and Python for it, of course. Um, former commodities trader and uh, an MBA. I've been coding in Python and Django for about four years. So why start with a custom user model? Um, has anyone here used a custom user model in Django? Cool. Uh, can you share why you decided to use custom user model? Yes, all right. Whatever, I'm sure it's a good reason anyway. <laughs> what was it? All right, well, you guys log in into the um, email with username. Yeah. And, and then uh, he said uh, for user, uh, a, a different profile, right? Yeah. Right. So you guys basically wrote the slide. Um, so for performance, to have a profile model without joins. Uh, for security, if you want to use like a Django UID field uh, instead of an integer for primary key. Um, for convenience, the custom user model is, is uh, useful if you don't want to use like a third party package, but you want to have an email as a username. And to future proof your project, maybe you don't know or don't think you need a custom user model today, but just in case, why not have one? Uh, the problem is, Implementing a custom user model can be intimidating, right? I mean, you have to extend the base user manager, you have to re-implement the user model, then you have to go to the admin, recreate the user creation form and change form, and extend the user admin. And who has time for this? I mean, you'd rather probably be writing different models or writing Ajax or something. And like, here's an example of the really intimidating custom user. Like, look at all that. I actually have to scroll down to fit this in. You gotta like rewrite all these methods. And it's just probably easy for a lot of, a lot of you guys, but why, why, why spend your time doing this, right? But there's an easier way, actually. And it's only 10 lines of code, and it's only three simple steps. So the three simple steps are, one, you subclass abstract user instead of abstract base user, and that gets you your default user functionality. Um, great ticket by core dev Carl J.M. about this trick. Two, you point your auth user model to your custom user model. And three, you register your custom user model in the admin. Who's excited right now about this? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so here's step one, boom. So that abstract user gets you all of your default user functionality. Step two, right there, whole line of code. Step three, in your admin, you're just going to uh, hook in your you know, default user admin. So all together now, you get this. 10 lines of code. So this provides a custom user model with all the functionality of the default user model, 10 lines of code. But not only that, you get the flexibility of a custom user model in case you ever need it in the future. But it gets better. There's, these 10 lines of, uh, lines of code can give you benefit like right away because when you have your user model exposed like this, you can cleanly and easily um, like write meta options. So if you want custom permissions, for instance, you know, those, those are easy to add. Um, you can easily override uh, user methods. So if you want to go nuts and like add a get absolute URL method to user model, you can do that. Or if you want to like, you know, extend the save method, you can do that easily. And uh, you can easily integrate third-party packages with uh, your user. 
um, in the admin. So like I like to use Django Guardian, which is a per object permission library, and they have a nice little admin integration, which is a little tricky to do without your user model exposed. So this makes it easier to you know, integrate that package with the admin. So that's it, thanks, and I'm happy to take questions. What was that Guardian thing you mentioned? Django Guardian, yes. per object level permissions, and I use that for, uh, w with, with Django REST framework too, so you know when you're like sending re requests through Django REST framework and you wanna limit them based on the user, user's permissions, it's really convenient. Don't know. I know. Like custom users have been around since. Well, custom users have been around since 1.5, right? So maybe that's maybe that might be like the tipping point for that. I'm not sure if this like, abstract base user or sorry, abstract user has always been available. I, I think it would be since the ever since custom user has been available. Yeah, 1.5 is when it was introduced. The cust is when custom users were introduced. Okay, makes sense then. Cool. Any other questions? All right, thanks guys, appreciate it.